Visual Basic .NET 2012 Part 25 Login both admin and normal users, different type of users. Just for example, I am saying admin and user. Two different various users using service based database. So, in the database, we are creating login table. Through the table, how we are activating the login username and password. <coughs> As usual, this tutorial mainly for beginner purpose. So, I will use the database in the database I am using. The database is here I created a table called login, login, password, user type, whether it is admin or user. This is called user type. You can see the table data here. This is my username, this is my password, this is my user type. I given three columns. I am telling username is the primary key. I set as a username as a primary key here. This is my design view. I will show how I am generating this. So the design view I am show here. I will show here the design view. This is my design view. What exactly I am doing is, this is from the data source. From the data source what I am doing is, I track and place. First I created the table. I created the table from the data source. Here my data source. In the data source, from the data source, I drag and place. But I deleted the label. This is what I am doing. But in the design time, what I am doing is this way I will place. You can see here this way I am making off. This is not visible at all. So, another important one in the coding, what I am doing is combo box I am adding to username and this one. This is my username and password I already lo loading. I am adding it in the combo box. User1 text box visible false username password. What is this? This and all. From the data box, I say this is my username. Can you see? This is my username text box. This is my password text box. This is my U type combo box. This and all, I am making what false. So it is not visible whenever the runtime. Me login navigator visible also false. What is navigator? This is this navigator. I don't want to share. I am taking from because if you take from data source, if you track from data source, not take, track from data source. Automatically, this navigator is available. So that's why what I'm doing is that also I make it a good false step. Now I'll run. You can understand that how it works. Whenever I run the um, this particular login table, so here I have not given pass password as a property uh, in property. I'll give later. What is my one username? I will say the username is. Girija, Girija123 admin. I will take Girija, Girija123 admin. What I do is here I will type Girija, Girija123 because I want to show visibly the password. That's why I have not made password admin. The user type. I will give login. Login successful. This is correct. Okay. What is the other one I will do? If I remove password is wrong, something I am doing, I will log in. What will happen? Incorrect login. So it will give, do you wish to try again? If I say yes. What will do automatically? It will do. Suppose I give Hindu at yahoo.com. My another user. I will try with another user also. So another user in Hindu at yahoo.com. Hindu one two one zero one user. So what I will do is Hindu one zero one, and I am using another user type called user. I say log login success. Suppose I am doing some errors here or here one zero one is correct. If it's a, this I will make some errors. Then I will do login, incorrect login. If I don't want, I will do no. I don't want to try again. Then it will close the application. Very simple. So what I did exactly, I want to check my login. Then I want. To. Now I explain the coding. Now, what is the coding? Everything not visible. Button one dot click. What I am doing? Whenever I click the login button, it will activate. So in the login button, what I do is here. Here I use dialog result. Dialog result means message box. You see here in the message box, run mode I always keep better. Run mode I always keep. This is my message box. Are you see? Gerita. This is Gerita123. Then I will use admin. This is my admin. So you can see this is my message box. This way one button is coming. Suppose I will do log, wrong login. So incorrect. Incorrect user name. You see here incorrect login. Here is in yes or no. Two Buttons are coming. So this is called dialogue result. What is the dialogue result? This button. 
this windows dot com dialog is yes support it is yes then what it will do first it will clear the text box here you see if it is yes it will clear the text box it will go and then it will check what username and password if i yes it will clear the text box are you getting it will clear the text box then i will again type here give it a one two then again i will do interact okay then i will give the yes or no this will check if it is yes first i will make yes because first time if you do what it should be yes then only you can type it so what i will do is here you can see you can suppose any case you can put upper case or lower case or keyboard that way what i converting all things into upper case so uh, caps the caps only so the text box 2 is what this is my text box 2 this is my text box 2 can you see this is my text box 2 this is my text box this is my text box 1 this is my combo box 1 so i am telling whatever in the text box 1 into uk this is my uk this is my what username this text box 2 letter go to this one this is go to this one this is what i am saying so i am adding like this here what i am what is the logic i am using here is nothing but that text whenever it is matching with the text then you can give success gets incorrect login you will give this message whether try in or login yes or no if it is yes clear again try otherwise what close here one logical question you people think how this user name get the text as look like what it is blank i won't get any information here can you see there is no information as per i think there is no information it is look like blank how i am getting message here you see how girija means exactly there also girija is coming if you put hindu hindu is coming like that now i will make for you for showing i will make it as everything as a command line yeah i will make everything as a command line now i will run and show you you can see here whenever first record is coming ali suppose i will say girija you see girija is coming hindu hindu is coming i am actually whenever i am typing here it will do filtering that is searching a the particular record is coming suppose i say a ali is coming this is what logic i am using here. you can see here so here i can say where i am doing this like this one whenever i am running you can see if i put hindu here you can see hindu is coming when i say girija girija is coming here so whenever i am typing in text box 1 it automatically here what in the data source whatever i taken from the table their record the appropriate record is displaying how oh. this i am using filter method you can see text box 1 texting this is my text box 1 whenever i am text is changing what i am doing i am saying that filter user name like text box 1 dot text whatever i am typing the girija means g and whatever like it will exactly matching with the user name that's why here i can use what i here i am comparing you you case up, uh, upper case of text box 1 is equal to upper case of that girija so here also i am typing what girija and girija you can see here here i am typing exactly girija so it will compare both here girija 1 to 3 here i say admin can you see so if both are matching both everywhere you see here here this is my key code so you case text box one this text box one matching with this one this one matching with this one this one matching with this one can you see this one combo box one combo box one matching with what you type combo box if it is okay everything is okay as per the if condition and condition then only success is done what is it then only success this method is done otherwise else method suppose i am doing what here else method incorrect message is coming can you see no this is what i did this is the logic behind the coding this way only i got the table so generally without using table also we can do this is a simple method this with using table we can find the uh, we can find the login procedure we can use the login procedure. 